Welcome back to a Subi Shaves video today, guys. I wanted to give a shout out to all 52 of you that are following, that are watching, and that are commenting. Thank you so much, guys. If these videos are helpful for you, give me an upvote. Go down, click the thumb that's doing this. That way we have more these than these. I would appreciate that. That'd be fantastic. All right, guys, come on in. Today, we're going to be revisiting the One Blade Genesis. And the reason why we're doing this is because I have new software, I have new hardware for camera shooting, and I feel like my last videos, while I tried really hard, the footage wasn't as clear as it could have been, and I feel like that's a disservice to you guys out there that want to use these razors, and they're trying to like squint at it, and I feel like there's some things that I could have addressed better, and on top of all that, I have a new trick. So it's going to be a huge update, and I'm excited. Guys, get pumped. It's like Tuesday. Who knows anymore? We're all stuck inside anyway. Um, we're going to be using Solstice, right? Because if I want to feel like I'm outside, this is one of the scents that takes me there. Solstice from PAA, it smells like being outside in the summer in the deserty mountains of Utah. There's a sagebrush and there's a green kind of Joshua tree smell, like desert, desert life, desert plant life smell to it and it's almost kind of got sand you know like that like when you're walking and like everything's just too hot and it's like the ground's radiating up i don't know if you guys have ever experienced that coming from utah it's very familiar to me it takes me it takes me home and i love this scent and we're just gonna use this splash right on top of it same splash the matching splash um it's one of those scents that it takes me home so i i, I need a little booster today we're gonna go with that today I'm so excited because before I was talking to you guys with this razor, I love it. It's a razor for me that's not only functionally very, very attractive. I think it's very, it's a very pretty razor, right? It's all stainless steel. It has the pivoting head. Um, it uses one blade. Um, I find it to be fairly ergonomic with the break in the middle, the skeletonized handle, whatever you want to call it, like the whole, it's just, it, it feels really good in the hand for me. Um, it does get, it does tend to get a bit slippery, but one wipe across the handle with, a uh, alum. And this is, this is a fantastic, fantastic razor that I can shave in the shower with on my head. Um, like I say, I just did a head shave with this great head shave. Here's the thing. A lot of us, a lot of us guys, we are price sensitive. Okay. It's hard to say that when you're talking at a razor that was $600, right? The base was like 400, they go up to a thousand. When you're talking about price sensitivity, it's it's already a hard thing with the wet shaving community because there's so many options, right? So many great options, like like this, for example. This is a super speed, and they can be had, you know, 20 bucks, and they shave really nice. And that's I think that's part of the hard problem with uh with the industry is that there's a lot of price variance, and sometimes, a lot of the time, if you invest a lot of money into the shave. It doesn't shave better, right? And I feel like that was the battle that One Blade really fought, um, especially like with with customers that, that were first time shavers, right? And they did a huge disservice by telling people best shave you'll ever have in the wet shaving experience, worth the money. Ah, I, I really don't feel like it was the best shave. I feel like it teaches people bad habits, right? Pressing, because that's what they teach you is pressing is not what you do in the wet shaving like world. Um, and on top of all that, the blades, the feather blades, these guys right here, these are a buck a pop and they're expensive and they don't tend to last for a lot of people. Some guys like they flip them over and over and over and over again. They get seven to 10 shaves. They love them. That's not me. Okay. Plain and simple. That's not me. I get one to two shaves max. And then they're really uncomfortable. And I've had some of them. I swear to you guys that have cracked out halfway through my shave. I get my head done, I get done in my face, and by the end of my face shave, I cannot continue using it anywhere else because it's done. It, the, the blade is finished. And I have to go to another blade to use my bot for a body shave. So two bucks just in blades. It just that for me that doesn't make any sense. It was really expensive. So I started I started um, playing around with options and I created two videos when I first started. And they just didn't have the quality. They I tried so hard, but I've learned a lot. And my camera my software, my hardware, everything has changed. And I feel like I can give you guys better content that's easier to see, right? I can get in there and really show you guys and make it more legible. 
because I, I, I've said it before, illegible content might as well not be content at all, right? Bigfoot shot from a billion miles away is still going to look like a tiny little speck. It's not going to be helpful. So hopefully this makes things more helpful for you guys. And I wanted to address all three, all three of the ways to use this razor outside of just using a stock feather blade. And mind you, this is a V1, right? This is a V1 Genesis. And the V1 Genesis, you could just take a gem blade, whoa, just slide it right in. Just take it, go right in the back of this razor and you can shave with it. And I know you guys are like, that's not fair. Mine's a V2, they're too hard to find. I know, I got lucky, I had a really close, like family friend essentially at this point that I traded with for this razor. So this does work, I shaved with it yesterday and let me tell you guys, the gem blade really does give a great shave in the feather, or in the one blade. But it's not the only way to use it. And for me, honestly, the gem blades are a little harder to source anyway, so I like other options. And there's people in foreign countries that have commented, they've talked to me, getting gem blades is darn near impossible. And forget about feather blades. They, they can't even source those at all. Um, and what they've told me is injector blades are hit or miss. DE blades tend to be global. It's interesting. I never really considered um, when I was shaving like the global experience for people, like what they're doing in their countries and how different that could be. And apparently it's really hard to find non DE bladed razors outside of the country, outside of the States, right? Cause I'm in the States of the United States. Um, so I'm going to show you guys like a couple of the ways I can make this work for you. Uh, one of them is we grab our feather blade, right? And we just stick it in 25% guys, 25%, right? Nice and simple. We're gonna grab an injector blade because that's what people said, uh, told me that they could, some people said they could get. We're gonna stick that injector blade right on top. You see how I'm doing that? Just right on top of the feather blade. And the feather blade, you notice, still up. We're gonna grab a little bit of a shim and just a plastic piece that could be, it could even be a, a plastic pencil. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that, that shim, right? And you're just gonna push this injector blade down. Huh? You can see, we're just pushing the injector blade down into, sp into space. When it gets to about there, what I'll do is I will take uh, like a shim or something and I will just push it, like I will take it and put it against the blade like this. And then I'll just push this in, I'll push, I'll start pushing the feather blade down. And all we're doing is we're just putting some pressure up against the injector blade. That's all we're doing. And I had a user reach out to me after they had tried this at home and said, dang it, Josh, that was aggressive as crud. What are you doing? How are you shaving that way? And apparently I didn't mention this well enough. And I, I apologize. I really thought I had done a good job explaining. Um, apparently I failed. If you guys look, you guys are setting your own blade gap, okay? You see how far back my blade is when you look at it, where the blade stops are? It is pretty far away from those blade stops for a reason. I will post a uh, link below in it to an Imgur album that'll show you guys the different levels of aggression based on where that blade is. It does not need to be against the blade stops in order to shave and it will not move. So you guys decide if the razor is feeling pretty aggressive, push that blade back. Just place it, push it back a little bit. That's all you do. So if you look at this right here, this is how I shave with it. Almost every single time I pick it up to shave with it, um, it's like this. And it, like this right here would be what I would consider uh, mild. And you can, Go down with it just a bit more if you wanted to. Just have to be really careful because this razor is extremely, it's sharp. Okay. 
This is how the user was shaving with it. And it doesn't look that much different. I know you guys are like, uh, is that even different? You see how it's up against that blade stop? But because of the way the injector blade rides, it actually goes maybe a little bit further down than OEM. And I have shaved like, like this and that it, it hurts. It bit me pretty good. So be cognizant of when you're putting in your blade where the blade gap is because you're the one deciding. You're actually making the razor adjustable. So we're going to pull that out. That's cool, right? We're all excited. We've just figured out how to shave with an injector, but you guys already knew you watched my other video. You had an idea. You can do the same thing with the DE blade, right? You just place the DE blade. Same way we just did. Helps if you start flush. Like this. And then you slide it in and then push down the feather blade. It's the same process for a DE blade and it will stay in place and shave the exact same way. And I've posted about those. I've actually shaved on camera with those. They work fantastic. And like I said, that's how I usually shave with the one blade. And I think it's a fantastic razor. Um, should it have been made differently? Probably. Should Persona have our uh, one blade reached out to a few other brands and said, hey, do you guys have any other options for us that may work better? Probably. Do I think that they probably did this uh, discussion and creation on how to you know use only one blade based on money within executives mm -hmm. i do i believe that was made uh, as a financial decision and i don't agree with it but if you follow that tip either of those you'll get great shifts here's where i want to come on in and say here's three months in whatever we're at now here's an update what if we don't need the feather blade what if we didn't need the gem blade? Would that interest you guys? Interest me. And you guys know I've been doing the shim videos recently. How to build your own shims, right? Build your own blade carrier with a DE blade. And this is cool because these are functionally available worldwide. It doesn't matter if you're in China, Taiwan. It doesn't matter if you're in Singapore, Malaysia, India, Africa. These are available everywhere. Um, so what we've been doing is we've been cutting the blades off of... Uh, off a DE, cutting the wings down by 75% and then snapping them in the paper to create little teeny tiny hooks on the backside. Then we connect them with the blades. And what I've been doing is just doing one backer piece to a blade, right? And it also works with one backer place, one backer piece to two blades, which creates more thickness on the blade, which reduces chatter and it also reduces vibration. Um, you'll get that like functional vibration occasionally on a DE blade because they're thin. Putting two of them really reduces that. Okay, what if we did four or three? So right here, I have three backer plates, right? We're just gonna stack those little guys together. You guys see this? Stacking three shimmed, three shims, three blade carriers together. And you're like, okay, that's weird. Why would we do that? Well. We're then going to take our uh, lovely DE blade that we're going to be shaving with today. Today I'm using Personas, and I followed the same method. I'm not going to show you guys on the camera. Um, where we cut the blade uh, wings off, right, or mostly off. Cut the blade wings mostly off, snapped them in the paper. You can see there's two blades there, full blades. And you just want those to be going the same direction so that both wings are the same way, right? These are both pointed downwards. You see how they're both pointed down? So that they rest flush against each other. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab all four of those, or three of those little shims that we had. Don't do four, four doesn't work. Uh, I tried four on this and it was too thick. So four, three seems to be the right number. So we're gonna grab three and we're going to hook them together like we do in all the other videos. It is critical, critical here, that everything lines up nice and smooth. You see this? That's three backer plates and two blades. Mystery nonsense. Mystery nonsense. I don't know where I come up with this stuff. I really don't. Hopefully, hopefully it continues because I'm just like, yeah, that may work. Let's try that. You know what we do now, guys? You want to know what we do now?
We just put it right in. So what I do is I squeeze these two together and remove that, that little bit of flare, right? Just that little bit of flare, guys. I just put it together. And I'm noticing um, I like the backer plate, the bladeless piece, to be on the bottom of the stack. So it's going to slide in like this. So it's, it's on the bottom with its wings on the top. You guys see this? I bet you one blade right now. I know who's, I now know who's downvoting me. I know who the two people downvoting me are. They're, they're uh, one blade execs and they're like, he did what? He can't, he can't do that with our things. Downvote him. How dare he? Can you? Get get the downvote system on. Get 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 a downvoter on. We need to we need to get rid of this guy. And you can see mine. The persona is not level because um, actually I, because it's not level today. All that really matters is that the blade is level. Because keep in mind, it's just pins that are back there holding this, this blade in place, right? Oh, I can tell you why. Mine came undone. I'm like sitting here, I'm like, there's something funny about this. Guys, I've said it a million times in my videos. If it happens to you, it comes undone, you can watch my video and know that I had the same thing happen to me. And the thing is, honestly... Um, with this system, I've only had it come undone trying to film. There we go. Oh yeah, perfect. Oh, snazzy. We're 17 minutes in. This is the third blade hack I'm showing, and you guys see this? There's no feather blade, there's no one, there's no uh, gen, uh, gem blade in it. We didn't have to cut anything, like uh, we didn't have to remove any material from a gem blade. Grab our shim, we're gonna test it. Here's the cool thing, guys, is it actually clicks into place. It actually goes click, click, like you hear the little click, and then you know it's in there. You see this? It cracks me up that it says like the persona up top. It just makes me smile. It's like just so antithesis of what they were wanting that it just makes me laugh. Okay. And you know me? It's not real if it doesn't shave. So we're going to grab my soap that's now busted. Guarantee the soap is just trash. Not because uh, Doug's soap is bad, but because... It's been sitting for a long time, because I don't shut up. I know, I know you guys are like, come on, Josh, another one blade video? I know, guys, I know, but I like the system, and I have another way to use it. And now if I'm on vacation, you know, I can grab this razor without buying, you know, or having to pack on blades, and I can just take DE blades. Let's take DE blades, easy. All right, we're gonna shave. And the first thing I can tell you guys right off the get back, right off the bat, is it feels the exact same. It feels the exact same as when you uh, load it the other way with like the backer plate. Pay attention here to the Persona top plate. It hasn't moved, therefore the blade has not moved. But that was just a with the with the green pass, right? Maybe that's not as challenging for it. We're gonna keep going. I'm telling you guys, the head shave I did with it, phenomenal, phenomenal head shave. And the funniest part for me was like it was just the Evoids. That's it. Nice across the green. Nice across the green, right? Again, guys, if you uh, are sitting here and you're watching me and you're like, I'm getting bored, 
Go click that up vote for me. Do it. We gotta have more uh, positive than negatives. I'm telling you, that's the that's that's the goal. Yeah, it was against green. You guys see that? You see how smooth my skin is up there? You see how smooth my skin is? Let's look at the blade, analyze it, let's critique it, let's really get in there and look. Guess what? Blade looks great. Blade's looking all right. Sorry about that, my morning is turning on. And it's just, it's gonna be a busy one for me today. I can already tell. Get up early to do my shave and computer's going wild. All right, right, so we are done with one cheek. We know it's working, we know it's working great. We're getting an awesome shave. And we're doing it without any proprietary blades. Right, my only hope here, guys, is that people out there that are using these, like I met somebody two to three days ago who said, you know, I just don't like the way it glides. I don't like the way the feather blade glides. Maybe this will glide a little better for that person. Right, that's that's really it. Isn't that the point of all of this, right? Getting the best shave you can have. And yeah, you can apply a little bit of pressure. Like that. Sure, if you want to. I like the fact that with this way, I'm using a blade that is so sharp. Right, these are Persona um, Blues or Persona Platinums, same as like the Israeli, Israeli Blues, or Israeli Reds. Um, I'm using a blade so sharp that it just, just glides. And I can shoot with it however I want, no pressure or pressure. That's it. It's funny, I talk for 10, 20 minutes. Show takes 30 seconds. I know, I know guys, I know. I'm getting out of here now. Huh? Just wanted to show you guys. I'm getting awesome shaves with only a DE blade inside of the one blade. Inside of the one blade, guys. We didn't have to, um, like I said, we didn't have to use a blade carrier or anything. Uh, it was uh, the, the feather. Because feather modification was a pain in the butt. And DE modification is much easier. And DEs are available. There's just so many reasons I like this method more. And you don't waste any blades, right? There's no waste that goes with this. Hmm? Feels great. Feels great, looks great. We're not having problems, we're not having movement, we're not having issues. You know what we're having though? Fan freaking tastic shave. And we're gonna grab a little bit of Cremo. And I'm going to go a little bit closer because for me, I get, I don't know, it just feels a little bit better with Cremo for closeness. I don't, could we just move my brain? I don't know. If I like it better on my neck. Cremo underneath the soap. I don't know, man. It's, it's just my, it's, it's my ghetto hack that somebody shared with me that I love. So we're going to do it. Go one more pass for fun. 
because I can and I just I want a close shave today so And this should work for all models, right? Because we're not doing any kind of uh, weird hacks or anything like that. We're not we're not using the gem blade, so it should, ironically, or, or, like not ironically, but it should, uh, without any effort, work for the um, gem or the the V twos. Sorry, the cores, because um, they have some cheaper models now. The cool one we're the hybrid. If you guys have one of those razors, this should work no problems for that razor. To you guys, fast, close shaves. Hmm? Hmm? I'm gonna grab a little alum stick. A little alum on top, because I'm curious. How this fills using alum. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I like this shave. I like this razor. And that's it, man. That's that's all there is to it. Um, I hope you guys have, have kind of seen something different today and have learned that just because it was developed one way doesn't mean it has to be done one way. This is just the splash, guys. Oh yeah, good, nice, comfortable burn. Definitely more burn than the Christie video. That's it. We're out. Have an awesome day and go shave. Bye guys.